Welcome back sa Math Husay General Math Tutorial. Sa video ito, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-solve ng problems involving inverse function. Let's start! Ilan sa mga applications ng inverse function na pag-uusapan natin ay ang conversion tulad ng temperature conversion at currency conversion. Let's have these examples. Example number one. The function C described by C of F equals 5 over 9 times the quantity of F minus 32 gives the Celsius temperature corresponding to the Fahrenheit temperature. Find the Celsius temperature equivalent to 14 degree Fahrenheit. Ang function na C of F ay pwedeng gamitin to convert degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. Since we want to convert 14 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, we will plug in 14 to the function C of F. So we have C of 14 is equal to 5 over 9 times the quantity of 14 minus 32. Now, simplifying the expression na nasa loob ng ating parenthesis, 14 minus 32, that's negative 18. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung negative 18 ay pwede natin i-cancel out kasi yung negative 18 ay divisible by 9. So, we have 5 times negative 2. 5 times negative 2, we have negative 10 degree Celsius. So, ibig sabihin, yung 14 degree Fahrenheit, pag i-convert natin siya sa degree Celsius, that will be negative 10 degree Celsius. Kapag naman i-convert natin ang negative 10 degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit, yung magiging sagot nito ay 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Kaya nga, ang mga ganitong klase ng problem ay one-to-one -one function kasi may inverse siya. The following temperature conversion formula can be used to convert degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, degree Celsius to Kelvin, and degree Fahrenheit to Kelvin, and vice versa. So, if you want to convert degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius, so pwede nyo gamitin ang function na C of X. Kung gusto nyo na mag convert ng degree Celsius to Kelvin, so you can use the K of C. Or, if you want to convert degree Fahrenheit to Kelvin, so pwede nyo gamitin ang function na ito. This time, let's talk about currency conversion. Example number two. You are buying important books from USA. As a result, you need to mail the payment. Recently, the exchange rate was $1 to 49 pesos. So, complete the table by converting US dollar into pesos. So, may table of values tayo. Second is that you have to write an equation for the function that has the number of US dollar as input and the number of Philippine Pesos as output. So, gagawa tayo ng function ngayon. And lastly, we have to write an equation that converts Pesos into dollar using the equation in B. So, kukunin natin yung inverse function ng function na nasa letter B na ating isisolve. So, for letter A, so to complete the table, di ba alam natin ang 1 US dollar is equivalent to 49 Peso in this example. So, 1, so ang equivalent niyan ay 49 pesos. So, kapag naman meron tayong 5 dollars, so in pesos, that will be 245 because 5 times 49, that will give you 245. Now, kapag naman meron kang 10 US dollar, so in peso, that will be 490 pesos. And lastly, to complete our table, kung meron kang 50 US dollar, and that will be 2,450 pesos kapag i-convert yung 50 dollar 
into pesos. So, now we have completed yung ating table, we proceed to letter B. We have to write an equation for the function that has the number of US dollar as input. So, yung magiging output natin will be in pesos. Philippine pesos. So, yung function that is being described in this table of values is P equals 49D. So, since ang output natin ay Philippine peso, so that's why P is equal to 49 times D. So, yung D is the number of dollars na meron tayo. So, this will be the function or the equation that we need to use if we want to convert uh, dollar into pesos. Now, from here, we have to answer letter C kasi gusto natin ngayon mahanap yung equation na kung saan magko-convert siya ng pesos into dollar. So, we have to take the inverse of the function P of D, which is equal to 49D. So, for letter C, kung kukunin natin yung function na magko-convert ng pesos to US dollar, that will be D is equal to P over 40 9. Claro. Example number 3. The function defined by f of x equals 2.2x converts a weight of x kilogram into f of x pounds. Find the equivalent weight in pounds for a 56 kilogram boy. Letter B. Find an equation defining y equals the inverse of a function x and lastly use the equation in b to find the equivalent weight in kilograms for a 120 pound boy so muna natin sasagutin ay yung letter a so paano ba natin ni convert itong kilogram 56 kilogram boy yung weight niya into pounds so gamit yung function na f of x Ipa-plug it lang natin yung 56 sa function. So, we have f of 56 equals 2.2 times 56. So, 2.2 times 56, that will give you 123.2. So, ibig sabihin, yung 56 kilogram ay equivalent sa 123.2 pounds. Claro. So, letter B. Since gusto natin maghanap ng uh, inverse function ng f of x, so yung f of x natin, hahanapin natin yung inverse function niya. So, we replace f of x by y. So, we have y equals 2.2x. We interchange x and y. So, ang nangyari, x is equal to 2.2y. So, solving for new value ng y, divide both side by 2.2. So, we have y is equal to x all over 2.2. So, kailangan natin palitan yung y ng inverse function symbol. So, we have the inverse function ng f of x i x all over 2.2. This function can be used to convert pounds into kilogram. So, from the function that we have in letter B, so, ngayon, i-convert natin yung 120 pounds into kilogram. So, using the function, yung inverse function, we plug in 120. So, 120 all over 2.2, that will give you 54.5. So, in this case, yung 120 pounds ay equivalent sa 54.5 kilogram. So, these are the applications of inverse function. Please pause the video and try these exercises. If you're done, you can type your answers on the comment section. Kung nakatulong ang math kusay math tutorial na mas maintindihan ninyo yung application ng inverse function, give this video a thumbs up share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sekreto para maging mat husay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. Watch 
the first episode of the next chapter, which is the exponential function. Bye!